we'll guide you through how to set up and use Microsoft Authenticator. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. You can follow this on an Android and iPhone, it doesn't matter. First of all, we need to go and get the Authenticator app. Open up the Play Store or whatever store you've got, click search, and we can press search at the top and type it in. You'll probably get suggested it, so we can go and tap on it, and here it is here. So we can go to the right and press install and wait for it to download. When it has, we can then go and press open like so, and we can go and start the process. We can go and have notifications, and I'll go and press accept here. Now what we can do is go and sign in with Microsoft, so we'll go and tap there. Now we can go and add the account, enter in your email, phone or Skype and press next. We've now added the account, choose if you want auto fill with authenticator, I'll press skip. Then we can go and press done. Now what we can do is start adding apps to this. So what you could do is go on to another app. For example, I've got Instagram on another device here. We're on the authenticator page. You can press the QR code in the bottom right. Then what you can do is go and scan the QR code or enter the code in manually if you're doing it on the same device. So I can go and scan this QR code like so. Now I've successfully gone and added it. So now when I try and sign into Instagram, I'll need to go and get the code from here. We can go and tap on it here and I can go and see the code which I can go and enter. At the bottom of Outlook, you can go through the different sections. You've got passwords where you can save them. You can also go and save your payment info and addresses and also verified IDs as well. All very useful, but primarily we're focused on the authenticator in this video, which you've now gone and set up.